Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a quick overview of the new and improved custom inquiry tool, which is available in Tecla Structures version 2017. So if you look in the side pane over here in the top right hand corner with the gear symbol and the question mark, this is the custom inquiry button. And you can just click on that to open up the dialog box. Like all side pane features, you can click to undock these and resize and reshape them place them on another monitor um, as the case may be. But what the idea of the custom inquiry tool is, is to quickly be able to view specific information uh, based on your current workflow. So if you're checking the model and there's specific data about parts or pieces in the model that you want to see, you can build that into a custom inquiry tool to just see that specific information. Um, an example of this would be here on our standard. If I come in and select this, you can instantly see the assembly position, part position, length, area, weight, or phase. Um, and it saves you time from having to right click, inquire, come on the part, and then filter through a lot of information just to see the main specific pieces of information uh, that you care about at that particular time. So I'll just quickly go through some of these options here. For example, if I choose this assembly weight, if you're uh, an erector or fabricator and quickly wanted to select some pieces in the model, you can see that it will show you the uh, uh, pounds per foot or the tons, depending on how you want that to be reported. Uh, so you can use that to get that information there. Um, you can also quickly see the center of gravity if you wanted to check that on a particular part or piece. Uh, we have this part inquire, which will tell you the phase, um, profile, material grade, camber, top level, uh, those sorts of report properties. You can also come in and see pro profile data. So if you real quickly wanted to see the workable gauge of an object or the K values, you'd be able to see those there. And then one last one that I'll quickly show here is the virtual field studs. So if you use the field studs, user defined attributes, as you go throughout the model and click on those, you'll be able to see that information. And then one that I'll show you here, part user defined attributes. This will pull in user defined attributes that you want about this particular part or piece. And now I'll just show you quickly how you can come in and customize this. So if we wanted to see more or less UDAs, or report properties, we can easily modify this. So this has a brand new user interface to come in and customize this. If you want to just simply remove something from the list, you can just select it and click on the minus sign and it will remove it there from the list. And then if you want to add things, then you can just come in and filter for this and then select it and easily add it over to the list. So I'll just add in a few UDAs here, select that guy, place that over here. And then here I can come in and reposition these as needed. And then I also have options here if I'm using length or weight, for example, to get a sum, average, max, or min of the values. Um, that won't make sense for these UDAs, so I'll just click and save this. And then now what it will do is just load in those new values here so I can easily see my check by UDA and my shop status. So it's just a nice, easy way to be able to view specific information that you want in the model based upon your current workflow. And then easily dock this and place it where you want. Once it is customized, you can easily share those files with other people so that they will be able to view that same data in your custom inquiry tool. So we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.